Hi, this is Kintaro, this is Janusz, Real World Audio, Kintaro is right here. And today let's look at a uh, little bit about line conditioning. And one of them will be the case of an isolation transformer, so where we have a primary winding and a secondary winding. Basically that's the primary, that's what you plug to the wall, and you plug the gear on the other side. Electrically that's the representation of a... Uh, isolation transformer and these are one to one ratio so the same number of coils on both sides so what it does is that uh, your equipment will be separated from the dc component uh, present in the line so basically only just alternating current will go through and the lowest frequency of alternating current that can pass through is defined by the inductance of the coil so basically that the 50 60 hertz that's in the line that these isolation transformers are made to pass these with high efficiency and when you go lower let's say like 20 hertz they will pass a little bit of that but several db lower so basically just half the power or fourth of the power or something like that depending on how well your transformer is built and uh, does that solve the, the problem of DC being present on your line uh, to a certain degree yes because the equipment is going to get pure AC it's not going to get the DC component of the sound yet the problem is that when there's DC present on the mains line then the DC component will magnetize the iron core of the transformer and it will be will not be able anymore to pass on uh, high current for the secondary so basically the DC present will overload your transformer and lower the efficiency so that's one issue why an isolation transformer is not a, a, a fix it or solution for DC present on the line number one issue with the isolation transformer is that it has a current limiting uh, effect based on the uh, iron core and the uh, coils themselves so basically it will pose a limit to a really fast uh, current demand current draw so if there's a transient peak that would re require a very high amperage in a millisecond range or shorter then the transformer here will slow that down so so basically what uh, what you will be experiencing when you put your audio system on an isolation transformer you will have much blacker black backgrounds very good contrast in the sound but the you will lose dynamics because the transients will not be supplied anymore and in case there's dc present on the line then if you have a toroid based uh, power amplifier that will vastly uh, benefit uh, from the isolation because the, the toroid can do its job but it still won't be able to get as much current as it wants because the transformer is overloaded the core is saturated by the dc so thank you this was just a very short episode kintaro just wanted to share this with you all please like subscribe bye bye